This has been a long time coming, you all. I've been sitting on these samples for almost two months now. I've been playing with them and yeah, we're gonna talk about it. And welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here and I am specifically talking about the house of BDK Parfums, which is a niche brand that has really gotten a lot of traction on YouTube. We're doing landscaping today, I see. Mm. I'm trying to film. Anywho, <laughs> we're doing BDK today. Let's focus on that, everyone. And this is going to be a part, let's see, two part series for now. This is part one of this sampling series concerning Full Bottle Worthy with BDK Parfums. I purchased these samples with my own coins. So, yes, you're really going to understand how I feel. I've actually smelled all these, worn these, and yeah. There are some loves in here, there are some okays in here, and there are some absolutely nots in here. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. We have five fragrances, and yeah, it's gonna be a good time. But before we do that, elves, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day, everyone. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Very Barbie girl in a Barbie world. This is Cotton Candy. I like this. Cotton Candy from their matte lipstick formula they, I think, used to have before they came out with their new version. But yes, Anastasia Beverly Hills Cotton Candy is your lipstick of the day. Next up, fragrance of the day. I was feeling gourmand and scrumptious and I went with a new fave of mine as of late. This is the I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess, aka Princess for short by the House of Killian. In the new bottle, I'm actually going to refresh it while I'm on here. This is divine. Full dedicated review will be coming at a later date. <laughs> so, all right, let's get into these samples from the house of BDK. As stated, I have five, oh, lost one. We have five, one is on the floor, but yes, we're gonna talk about them. <laughs> let's go ahead and get one of the hype ones out the way. This was the one I was most intrigued to sample, and this is Passe Soir. This is what the samples look like. And as you can see, these are official BDK samples because that's what I prefer to receive. Now, just a little bit of information concerning notes on Passe Soir. Honey, I need this iPad to get it together. So for notes with Passe Soir, top notes are black pepper, ginger, mandarin, and pear. Heart notes are Moroccan jasmine, quince, chutney, orange blossom. Then base notes is cashmerean, patchouli of Singapore, and amber wood. So honestly, this is a spicy and woody and fruity kind of fragrance, and I was intrigued by that. I've heard a lot of ladies rave about it, but of course, you all know, it takes more than hype to win me over. I have to smell it for myself. So yeah. Hmm, let's see if this is full bottle worthy. By the way, um, this one retails for $190. So now you see why we are sampling first. <laughs> and I must say, hmm, <laughs> the hype is real and the hype is worthy. I think Passe Soir is absolutely beautiful. Like, I love this scent. And I must admit, I have worn this sample the most. This is the one that I'm like, yeah, I like this. Again, it's spicy fruity. To me, this scent would be great as a transitional from summer to fall scent because of that spicy and that woody base it has. I like this and it's very niche. It doesn't smell like the typical fruity floral type of scent. Mm -mm, I like this. I do. I do. This is really good. So yes, I think, yes, Passe Soir, based on first impressions and a sampling of it, of course, I think it's full bottle worthy. The next fragrance we're gonna talk about is another one that is very much hyped and I had to get my nose on it as well. And yes, we are talking about none other than Grease Charnel. Yes, Grease Charnel, we have our sample. Let me spray this for it while I pull up these notes. Ooh. Okay, Gris Charnel. Talk about the notes of Gris Charnel. This one is very, very hyped. And yeah, I'm excited about it. So the top notes are fig, black tea, cardamom, essence. Heart notes are absolute of iris, bourbon vetiver. And then the base notes are sandalwood from India and absolute of tonka bean. Woo. This one right here. Oh, this is everything for fall. And this is perfectly unisex. Like it has a smoky, mysterious aspect, but it still has a sweetness to it. And that's thanks to that fig. Oh my goodness, that sandalwood in here, that bourbon, yeah, this is this is hot. This is pretty, pretty hot right here. 
It's an EDP, by the way. I say that because Gris Chanel also has a Gris Chanel Extrait de Parfum that we'll talk about at another date. But this is the original. I like this. Again, I cannot wear it at the time I'm filming this video because it is literally 90 degrees right now. But when it's cooler, think late September, October, Oh, this would be everything so do i think grease charnel is worth the hype do i think it's really good i do and i do enjoy the dry down on my actual skin i will say that as well this is nice this is worth the hype this is sexy it's very very sexy it's very femme fatale sexy so grease charnel is a yes for me the next thing is one of the scents that actually put bdk on the map and i find it very interesting but we'll talk about that in a minute the next one is called rouge smoking and Rouge Smoking is basically the one that has red juice. That's what makes it stand out. I like this for the look of it, and I appreciate a red juice. Now, because it has a red juice, I would not spray it on clothing, especially white blouses. Wouldn't do that. So now let's spray some of Rouge Smoking on here. Got a little bit on my fingers. So the notes for Rouge Smoking are bergamot from Italy, cherry accord, and pink berries. Then we have black vanilla, heliotrope, base dose of ambroxan, Cashmerean, Tonka Beam, Labdanum, and White Musk. Yeah, we gotta talk about this. Honestly, the girls hype Rouge smoking up and straight up, this smells like root beer. I like the taste of root beer to drink as a beverage, but do I want to smell like root beer? Absolutely not. So for me, the hype is absolutely wrong. And just no, Rouge smoking is root beer. Like, why is this hyped? this isn't good it's <laughs> no so absolutely not on rouge smoking it is a thumbs down no the next fragrance is a little bit different it has a blue box this is citrus riviera which normally i like things that are kind of like marine or watery at least i think in my head and the blue bottle definitely gave me that so now let's talk about citrus riviera let's spray a little bit on here we ah Okay, I'm going to have to dab this one on down on here. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> and we got it on our sample. So let's talk about Citrus Riviera. Top notes of Essence of Moroccan, Neroli, Essence of Italian, Mandarin, Essence of Italian Lemon, Fig Accord. Then we have Moroccan Orange, Blossom Absolute, Jasmine Strawberry, Neo Jungle Essence, and we got some Eucalyptus Essence. They really like Essence in here in their write-ups. Then we have base notes of White Musk, Patchouli from Indonesia, Vetiver from Haiti, and Tonka Bean Absolute. Let's get into Citrus Riviera. Mm. This smells like masculine cleaning products. This is not sexy. And quite frankly, I wouldn't even want to smell this on the head elf. No, mm -mm. it's a no for me. Nope, nope, nope. Would not wear this. Absolutely not. No. Citrus Riviera is a no. <laughs> but I love the bottle though and the juice. Super cute. <laughs> And the last fragrance we're going to talk about is Tuberose Imperial, which I am a Tuberose lover, and this is definitely a Tuberose scent. All right, let's spray this here sample on here. So the notes in Tuberose Imperial are pink peppercorn, geranium of Egypt, then we have heart notes of Tuberose of India, Ylang Ylang of Cormos, and then we have Sandbag Jasmine, Iris, Jasmine of Egypt. Base notes, we have cashmere and sandalwood, incense of Somalia, vanilla of Madagascar, patchouli of Singapore, and benzoin of Sumatra. Okay, they got stuff from everywhere going on in here. Tuberos Imperial, let me tell you. Hmm, she costs a little bit more. She's $215. The other ones I talked about were only $190, so she a little special. Okay. Mm. Let me tell you something about Tuberos Imperial. On first surface value, I thought, oh, okay, this is another typical tuberose scent. I have other tuberose scents in my collection. I'm not really checking for it that hard. However, this was one of those scents you have to let sit for a minute. I'm glad I let my sample sit for a little bit. This is beautiful. This is a different type of tuberose. It has a spiciness to it. It has a spicy woodiness to it. And it's kind of the same, like, my essence that kind of happened with Passe Soir. Totally different scents, let me say that. But they both have a spicy, woody aspect to them that's very unique and that you don't normally get. Because normally tuberose is meant to be like very girly, very bubblegummy, very like daytime. But this is a tuberose I would wear at night. Mmm. 
I like this. So for me, I think Tuberose Imperial because it's a different take on Tuberose and I am a Tuberose lover, it does tickle my fancy. So Tuberose Imperial is a yes for a full bottle. I think this is really good. Mm-hmm, absolutely, yes. So all right, elves, that wraps up my full bottle worthy series concerning BDK Parfums. Again, this is the part one video. There will be a part two video coming soon at a later date, sooner rather than later, we will, we, we, well, we will be discussing five more fragrances from them. So if you were digging the content for today's video, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy that series as well. Overall, just three out of five. Yes, three out of five, I think are worth the money. Two were a no, but I will say based on this, I don't own full bottles yet of any of them, but judging based on how I feel and what's exciting me the most, I'm thinking Passe Soir would be my first full bottle size, followed by Gris Charnel, and then after that would be Tuberose Imperial, based off of how I feel about them and my reactions to them. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Let me know what you think. Have you bought anything from BDK? Have you sampled anything from BDK? What are your thoughts and opinions on the house? What do you love, what do you hate? Let's talk about it in the comments below. By the way, I purchased my samples from soavantgarde.com because I know a lot of times people ask me, where do you get your samples from? Where do you get your samples from? It's not a secret, I share them. Just have to listen to the video. <laughs> Until next time, Ills, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.